All right, everybody, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time joining, my name is Shane, and this is the Coding Zoo channel. Our goal to Coding Zoo is to help others like yourself learn how to program. Today, we're going to start a, the first video and a set of videos going over SQL, going over the SQL language and how to use it. We're going to start this video series by installing Postgres SQL database, by installing the Postgres SQL database. So in this video, we're going to show you how to do that. And in the upcoming videos, we're going to go over SQL in general. We'll start with the basics, then we'll get into a bit more advanced uh, features. If that interests you, stick around. We're going to jump right. All right, so let's get started. So, of course, it differs from OS to OS, whether it's Windows or Mac. We're on a Windows system now. We're going to install PostgreSQL. Uh, let's go find it and let's go download it. Postgres SQL window. I'm going to do Windows download. All right. Windows installers, Postgres SQL. So you'll see I'm on the postgresql.org slash download slash Windows website. So on this web page, uh, we have the Windows installers. Now, if you look around the page, it's hard to, to see what exactly to click on. To uh, to download this to download this install, but if you take your time and read, you can actually see there's a little link right there. So I would I would highly recommend that uh, their web designers XD people kind of you know maybe consider changing this web page up just a little bit because that was really hard to find. I mean, you can't even tell there's a link there. Anyway. I'm uh, going off on tangents. Let's go ahead and download the Windows installer. I'm going to click on download, and it takes us to this page. So I have different versions here. I'm just going to choose the latest version and Windows x86-64. So click download. Click download. And there we go. It started to download. Now let's speed up the video a little bit. Alrighty, so the file has finished downloading. I'm going to open it up, show in folder. Now I had a little screen pop up here. Let's put it so you can see it. All right, so this is the file I just downloaded. I am, it's an exe, so I'm going to double click on that. And it's starting the EDB Postgres SQL installer. There it goes. Start to say, where'd it go? Click on next. Welcome to Postgres Setup Wizard. Click next. Now I'm going to choose where to install it. So I uh, my C drive is about full. I'm going to go over here to, let's see, I'm going to go over to my G drive. I'm going to right click in here somewhere, and I'm going to choose new folder. I'll call it Postgres SQL DB. So I'm going to choose to install it there. So by selecting that folder, you'll see G Postgres SQL DB. You can put it anywhere you'd like on your system. You know, whatever drive has the most space. I'm going to click Next. And it installs all these different tools. You definitely want the command line tools. Hey, and PG Admin is kind of a visual tool you can use. It's basically a, a website that installs locally. So you can access the database service that way. These videos, we're kind of going to go over the command line. That's something you should probably learn first. But you, I would also recommend you install the PG Admin 4. That's something you can use later on. It may save you some, some, some time. So we have Postgres SQL Server, PG Admin 4, command line tools, Stack bigger, Builder. I'm not sure about that, So, but let's, let's install it anyway. All right. Please select the directory which you want to store your data. Why not? Let's leave it in that directory under data. And please enter a password. Well... I definitely would not recommend to do this, but I'm going to put password at one, two, three, four, and then password at one, two, three, four. That's the uppercase P. Don't do that. That's a bad way to sign your passwords. Make it something that someone won't guess. That's definitely something somebody could guess. Uh, that's kind of security 101. Don't do that. But for this example, we're going to do that. Click next. 5432 is the port. That's fine. Matt might want to jot that down. 5432 is the port the database will run on. Next, default locale. Sure. And let's click next. And one more next. And there we go. It's installing. Now you can go and have some coffee, fix dinner, 
take a nap. We'll speed the video up a little bit here. Wow. Okay. Goodness gracious. You could have built your own database in that amount of time. Yeah, if you go through this, hey, fix yourself a cup of coffee, maybe some lunch. You'll definitely have time to eat it while you wait. All right, so it finally finished. Just go ahead and click Next or Finish. Do we want to launch Stack Builder? Let's uncheck that. We don't care about that. So click Finish. All right, so we are good. So if you go into your Windows menu, you can look for a PG Admin tool. And it will actually have a link to start up the browser to your PG Admin 4. And you can actually connect to the database it just installed. Hopefully it will connect. So it's called PG Admin 4. Just look for it in your Windows menu system there. And there we go. It looks like I may have had some other databases on here at one time. But you should see a PostgreSQL 14 or whatever version you installed. Please connect to the selected server to view the dashboard. So let's, can we connect? Refresh, connect to server, asking for the password, password. So I'm gonna save that password. Is it connecting? All right, so as you can tell, I had to actually go right click on it, choose properties and choose connection. And I changed the port to the 5432. So if you, if you try to connect to it and uh, it doesn't connect, make sure you're on that right port. So again, just go to right click on the node there, choose properties, change, click on connection, change it over to 5432. So once you uh, do that and you choose to can disconnect or connect from this menu, you can actually bring up that database. So in that database, you can see database server. You can see all the databases that exist already. There's just one default one there called Postgres. Uh, you can see all the login groups and you can even see monitoring tools. So we're not gonna go too deep into this PG admin. I just wanted to show you this real quick. It is available. It's something that you can learn later on. Let's jump into the command line. So I just wanted to show you, you really want to learn the basics, especially during the command line. It's a lot quicker. Let's jump into that. So before we can use the Windows command line to access this PostgreSQL database, we need to set up the environment variables in Windows to do that. Let's go ahead and do that next. Let's go down to the Windows menu here. I'm going to type in env for environment. And you'll see an option that says edit the system environment variables. That's control panel. Now it's going to open up a little window called System Properties. And inside this window, you'll see different tabs, computer name, advanced, you'll see hardware and advanced. Make sure you click on advanced and you'll see the environment variables button. Now click on that, another window will pop up. You'll see two sections, user variables, system variables. We wanna look into system variables, find the path variable. Click on the path variable, click on edit. Now, you want to go here and add a new variable. This new variable is going to be the path to where you installed the Postgres database. So if I go to File Explorer, I'm going to type in File Explorer, and I'm going to go to my G drive where I installed it. In my G drive, I put it into where Postgres SQL database, and inside of there, you're going to see a bin folder. Click on that. I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to do Control C, or I can right click and choose copy. I'm gonna close this window down now that I have that path. Okay. Now back to my system properties here, I'm gonna to choose to add new. So see how to add a new entry there. I'm gonna do Control V to copy it. Now you'll notice I have an older entry there from when I previously had it installed. I need to get rid of that. All right, so click OK. And I'm going to open it up again. You can double click it to open it up. I'm going to scroll down. You'll see now it's been added down here at the bottom. You also see this other one that I had from previous installations before, which isn't no good. I'm going to choose delete to remove that. Of course, you won't have that. 
So the main thing is to make sure that you've added this new entry. Now this will tell Windows where Postgres is at when you open up the command line. Click OK, click OK, click OK. And now you're all set to access the command line. So I'm going to do the Windows menu again. I'm going to type in CMD and it brings up the option for command prompt. All right, so we're at the command line. Let's see if we can connect to Postgres real quick with the command line tool, PSQL. I'm going to do dash uppercase U for the user. I'm going to specify Postgres. That's that default user that it asks us to give a password for. So PSQL dash U Postgres. Get the password that I gave it on install. And now we're connected. You can tell because it has this looking command line there. Awesome. Let's see if we can try to create a database. Create database. Make sure I spell that right. My order system database. Semicolon. Don't forget your semicolon. It's thinking, it's thinking, it's thinking. Create database. Now, if it comes back with create database, that means it actually created it. Awesome. So we are now in the Postgres database. We're using the PL SQL PSQL uh, command line tool to connect to it, and we just created a database. So I'm going to go over here back to my PG admin tool that I showed you earlier. And I am going to do a refresh on databases here. So I'm going to do database refresh. And there we go. We have two databases now. We have the Postgres one and we have the My Order System database. Awesome. All right. So one other way you can check also besides using the, the PG admin tool. Again, let's get used to using the command line. We can actually connect to the database. database. Connect to the database. database. <laughs> Tongue tied there. So how do you do that? So... You do a backslash C, might be forward slash C, I forget, let's try it. What's the name of my database? My order system DB. You're now connected to the database my order system DB as user Postgres. You'll notice the command line changed here, right? And now it says my order system DB. So that lets you know that your database was created, you are now connected to it, and you can start creating tables. All right, so hey, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. In the upcoming lessons, we're going to show you how to create tables in this database. We're going to show you how to do queries and advanced queries. If you are interested in seeing more and learning more on SQL, SQL, then stick around by clicking the subscribe button. And if you like this video, hey, do us a big favor. It really helps to get this video out there. Click the like button. We really appreciate it. That's it for today. Hope you have a great week, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah.